for ilovelimerick.com. We're here at the fabulous milk market in the heart of Limerick City. This market is over 150 years old and it showcases food from all over the world. France, Italy, Spain, Russia. Most importantly though, they sell really, really amazing food from right here in Limerick. So let's go and take a look around and see what's on offer. I'm here with Jan O'Sullivan. Jan, are you a regular market goer? I am indeed. I try to get in every Saturday, sometimes early, sometimes a bit later. But um, it's a fabulous market. The atmosphere is wonderful. People come from all over the country to sell their produce. You can get really fresh vegetables and fruit, fresh fish, fresh meat. And um, it is a very, very big market and apparently it's one of the biggest in the country. And would you say that it focuses well on local produce? Absolutely. And I mean, that's one of the things now that I think we know as citizens of the globe that we shouldn't be buying things that travel halfway around the world. We should be buying our local produce. I scored at the market. So Patricia, tell me, how long have you been selling at this market? Well, we've been here uh, for six years, since 2004, and it has been a very important uh, part of our business. Not just here on my stall, but in the whole entire market, there are some fantastic local artisan producers, and they are a huge addition to the shopping experience in Limerick City. So Giordano's from Italy, and uh, can you tell me, how does this market compare to something that you're used to back home, a food-producing nation? Well, it's... Um it's certainly quite similar, I have to say. I mean, there's so much choice between vegetables and fruit. I'm here with Nicole Dunphy, who's the owner of confectionery brand PandoraBell.ie. And Nicole is about to become a trader at the market uh, tomorrow, I believe, Nicole. Yeah, I'll be setting up my stall here on Fridays and Sundays, and hopefully eventually Saturdays as well. So it's really exciting to be involved in this project, because I, I think it's just given a real buzz back to the city, which is brilliant. I think the market has six or 7,000 people through it on a Saturday, so that's going to be pretty good for you. Yeah, it's, it's great. But also, I think the people that come here are really into their food. You know, they're here for a reason. and. Even on a cold January morning, people will forsake Tesco and they'll come in here because they want really good veg, they want really good fruit, they want lovely cheese. Teresa, how long have you been a trader here at the market? Um, I've been here for 33 years. My mom started the stall back in 77 uh, and we've been here ever since and my kids, I expect to be here after us. Wow, so that's going to be three generations here at the market. Uh, would you say that this market is very important to your family then and your business? I would expect to get my primary income from the market and so would most of the local producers around. It's part of Limerick life and I love it. I love the buzz and everything else and the colour and the whole atmosphere is tremendous. It's a place to go. It's a very, very social place, isn't it? I mean, I couldn't imagine Limerick City without this market. No, and you know, the nice thing too also, and it's one of the very many nice things, is you meet people here, you know, the odd friend you may not have seen for weeks, and you come along and suddenly you say, come on, let's sit down someplace and have a cup of coffee and a piece of cheese or something like that. I love it. I'm here with Chris O'Connor, who's the coordinator of the redevelopment of the milk market. Chris, the recent redevelopment is really, really impressive. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, I can say, Valerie, that the whole project has uh, been six years in the happening. And it's not just to do with the offering to the public from the traders inside, and it is nurturing local business and growers. Just listen. The sound uh, reflects the, the enthusiasm. Uh, of, of the area, it's fantastic, fantastic. It is. It you is. know, the louder the better. The more yeah. noise, the better. This, this is really, this is really what it should be like. I'd like to think that there can be, you know, let's let's meet uh, where you meet at the mi uh, milk market because instead of meeting in outside BTs or outside Debenhams or by the river or something like that, now you have a place that you can actually come um, and enjoy. And you know Lucy, 
So I've had a really amazing time here at the Limerick Milk Market this morning. There's so much colour, so much life, so much food and so many people. So why not come along and check it out? It's really fantastic and it's in Limerick and I love Limerick.